Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I have a different backdrop because I'm in the living room today. I didn't want to take the effort to actually set up the other room because I have to move some stuff around when I do that. So I'm in the living room today on the sofa. You may see a dog pop in either over here or over here. I don't know what he's gonna do. He's currently gnawing on a treat, which is going to annoy me when I edit the audio, but Whatever, we're just gonna go with it. So today I'm gonna be reviewing this book here. This is by Rachel Cruz, Love Your Life, Not Theirs. I will leave an Amazon link below for you guys if you're interested in checking this out. This book came out, I wanna say it was earlier, was it earlier this year? No, it was actually last year, I think the end of 2016, um, because I actually started reading this on the plane to visit my parents over the holiday break, um, but, I didn't finish it until just recently. And the cool thing is, is I actually just went to the marriage, is it marriage? No, it's money and marriage event, um, hosted by Rachel Cruz and Les Parrot. And I actually got Rachel to sign my book. So that's exciting. Um, I think la yeah, last week I actually filmed the vlog and posted that about my volunteer experience because I was a volunteer there, which was kind of cool. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about this book a little bit and give you some of my thoughts and feelings about it. And obviously, do I recommend? Do I not recommend? I don't know. Stay tuned. So spoiler alert, I loved this book. This book was such a great eye opener, especially with all of the comparisons that are out there. It's about, you know, not keeping up with the Joneses anymore, and really loving just your life. Really, this book to me was about contentment. You know, being content with your financial choices and your goals and dreams, and not really worrying about what other people are doing on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, like all of this social media that they're showing, because really that's the highlight reel of their life. And I'm so guilty about it too. I don't show the bad things. I mean, who wants to show the bad things? I mean, trust me, there are a few friends of mine on Facebook where they just complain about everything. And then after a while, I just end up like blocking them. Is that bad? Probably. I like positive content and I don't really ever wanna share even like negative stuff on my channel either. I mean, if something's going on in my life that's not the best, I mean, I'll share it, but I'm not gonna like dwell on it and like bring you guys down either. Like. No one needs that and no one no one came to the internet for that. You know, we all wanna be lifted up and have something positive and fun to share and just like have a little bit of an escape from our lives. But when you see other people that are, you know, friends of yours or people that you admire doing things that you wanna do, you can kinda of get caught up in it, you know? Um, Rachel uses a lot of good comparisons for like, you know, moms and dads. I don't really relate to that stuff too much because I'm not a mom or dad unless you count this little fur beast that's sitting over here. You gonna say hello, Doyle? Oh, hi! This is my little fur beast. I don't think you've ever been in a Financial Friday before. So she uses the example a lot about, you know, a two-year-old's birthday party. Like, how much do you spend on the cake and the decorations and all of that? And you see people going just like hog wild and you just don't have to do that. You know, there's no rules to say that you have to do anything that you don't wanna do. So really to me, this book was like a huge eye-opener with just being content in who I am, my station in life, what I can afford, what I can't afford, and also being okay with that. I mean, I think that's so hard sometimes as you always want for the next thing. And it's great to have goals, but don't put yourself in a financial position where you can't achieve those goals because you're crippling yourself. Like that is not the place that anyone wants to be in. And you know, you're trying to do this to impress people that you probably don't even know or you might not even like. Like that's not a great way to do this. So it all goes back to making a plan, making a budget and making it work for you. I have always said this and I think I always will say it, it's not always about how much money you make, it's what you do with it. Yes, there can be a problem where, say you only make $25,000 a year and your rent is $1,200. Well, that's probably an income problem or a housing issue. However, 
there are ways to work around that. You know, maybe you need to get another job or whatever, but if you're figuring out what's good for you, then you shouldn't keep up with the comparisons. The comparisons will end up crippling you, and I know it is so difficult to not post or do things like that, um, but you don't have to post either. Um, I don't post all the time. I used to post a lot, and you know, now I just post what I want to post. I post good, hopefully, hopefully good and positive things. If you guys follow me on social media, all my links are below if you want to check them out. Um, but you don't have to, it's completely up to you. Um, I don't like to post things that I'm not interested in or things like that. I really like to do more positive type things, but that's just me personally. And especially after reading this, it really kind of changed my trajectory of what I was posting. Um, posting fun snippets and not necessarily like, hey, look at this, I got a new bag and I got a new this and I got a new that. Um, you know, I do post certain things like that because, you know, I share lots of digital content online of hauls and things like that because First of all, you guys request them. And um, second of all, because it's part of my presence online, but um, it's just, you know, and I'm reviewing stuff for you guys to let you know if it's maybe worth it or not worth it or whatever. But I, I like that part of my YouTube job. I really, really do. But in between times, I'll post a picture of my funny little dog that's sitting over there or like what I'm doing and where I'm going and things like that. Um, and not necessarily anything that costs money per se. So I feel like since starting this book and finishing this book, my content online has actually diminished quite a bit. I feel like it's more of my online life and then also little snippets of my day. Like I'm not posting like four times a day typically. I mean, maybe once in a while I'll do that, but very, very rarely will I actually do that. But all in all, I have to say this book is awesome. I really, really like it and I think that it would be so helpful to so many people especially if you're online you know I know that there's lots of people that actually like don't have a Facebook don't have an Instagram and I applaud y'all like don't get me wrong like I applaud you guys but it is so difficult not to get wrapped up into the Pinterest of it all and making everything look perfect and have the perfect home and buy the perfect this and do the perfect that and go on all these vacations and things. But you know, you gotta make your life work for you and be content for you because you don't know if that other family just went into debt just to go on that vacation, you know? like. Just do what's good for you. So I would highly recommend this book. Um, if you don't have it, like I said, there will be a link below. Um, and then, you know, if you know someone in your life that may benefit from this, or maybe they're starting their financial journey of saving money and doing the, you know, Dave Ramsey plan, I would recommend maybe getting this for, you know, the holidays or a birthday or something like that too. Um, it's just, it's an easy, easy read and we can apply it to all the different facets of our life, which is kind of awesome. So anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed Financial Friday this week. If you have any requests for Financial Friday, make sure to leave them in the bottom bar down below, not the bottom bar, the comments, I mean. Put them in the comments down below. In the bottom bar is gonna be the link to this book. I'm always looking for new and interesting ways to kind of zhuzh up Financial Friday for you guys. I love talking about finances and all things finances. So um, feel free to leave some comments and suggestions down below. And you never know, maybe your comment will get picked for a Financial Friday at some point. So anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. The dog is over there just judging me. Like, look at this. Do you guys see that? He just stares and judges. This is what I deal with on a daily basis. He's very judgmental.